Greetings and welcome to the Norwegian Prima. I'm gonna do a full walkthrough ship tour. This is Jason here. You're gonna love this ship tour. It's a brand new ship. We're gonna take it deck by deck. Let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna start off here on the upper deck. This is deck 18. To the left right here is the pool area. Up above is the go-kart track. Right here is the buffet area. And if we go all the way through the buffet area and come out the other side, we're gonna come right into the Vibe Beach Club. Let's head on back and take a look at the main pool area. This right here is the main pool area. It's a nice cozy spot. On the Norwegian Prima, rather than having massive spaces, the Prima has many small spaces. And you'll notice as you go from venue to venue. If you look straight ahead here from the main pool area, you'll see Waves Pool Bar. Waves Pool Bar is right underneath the racetrack. So you'll hear the go-karts going round and round while you're hanging out at the pool having a drink. It's pretty cool. So you can either have a drink right here at the bar or you can enjoy one poolside. This was an inaugural cruise, so I'd like to thank Norwegian for inviting me. It was a wonderful eight day cruise from Iceland all the way to Amsterdam. It is a perfect ship to cruise on, especially if you're in Europe. Now over to the side of the pools are a couple of whirlpools. Take note that these whirlpools have excellent views. You can just look right over the window right here and see whatever port you're going into. Up to deck 18, right by the kids splash area, is the wave water slide. This water slide is just as if you are in the ocean and you kind of like went right up a wave and came right on back down again. You're gonna need an inner tube, and as soon as you go through on your inner tube, you're gonna hit the little bowl here, you're gonna go up and come down. It's a lot of fun. Remember right before we got to the water slide, we went right by the kids' splash area. There's a bunch of little splash toys and places for kids to run around. Remember when I said the go-kart track was right above Waves Bar? Well, take a look at this. It is a three-story electric go-kart track. So when I said that you're gonna hear the go-karts, keep in mind that they don't make a lot of noise. It's more like just a little bit of a The go-karts are a lot faster than you would expect. I had a lot of fun on them. I didn't think they were gonna be so fast, but they were, and they were a blast. And then over here, right across from the kids' splash area, is a nice area where you can lie in the sun and just relax if you like. It's all the way here at the front of the ship. Up here, you have a view of one of the whirlpools and the go-kart track. Let's head on in to the Surfside Cafe. This is the buffet area. It's open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It has amazing views. You'll notice that the windows go from the floor all the way to the ceiling. Now, the Norwegian Prima is part of the new Prima class. She is the first of six new ships. And check it out, if you wanna book this ship, make sure you give me a call. And there's a good reason why, is what we do is we provide our clients with exclusive agency discounts. They are amazing. We give you all the promotion that Norwegian offers you, but in addition, we're gonna give you additional savings. It's amazing and our clients love it. To get the discount, you must give us a call. These rates are not posted on our website because they are amazing unpublished rates that only we have access to. Keep in mind that the buffet area is completely complimentary. It's totally included in your cruise fare. So everything you see here is free, except for alcoholic beverages back here in the Surfside Bar. Let's head on in to Palomar. Palomar is part of the specialty dining. This specialty dining concept is brand new to Norwegian. It's the first ever Mediterranean seafood restaurant. The way specialty works is, is that there is an additional charge. If you would like to see what the charges are for specialty restaurants, you can check that out on our website. I placed a link down below the description of the video. This is Food Republic. Think of Food Republic as a sharing restaurant. Entrees are served on small plates. Now, like Indulge Yourself Food Hall, which we're gonna find on deck eight, you order everything on an iPad. Let's jump on over to the Vibe Beach Club. Now, if we go all the way through the buffet, remember this is on the back side of the buffet. So we're all the way here at the back of the ship. The Vibe Beach Club is an adult only sun deck. You must get a day pass to hang out here. There are limited number of passes available. So here's my recommendation. As soon as you get on the ship, head on over to guest services if you are interested in the exclusive area. Here you'll enjoy padded chairs, whirlpools, awesome views, 
There are plenty of umbrellas, so if you want to relax in the shade, that's also available. When we were coming into port here, we were coming into Amsterdam, so you'll see everybody looking over the side, checking out the views. Take a look at this. If we look up from the Vibe Beach Club, you'll see the Speedway Bar. The Speedway Bar was definitely a favorite among us. It has excellent views and it has a really cool view of the Vibe Beach Club. Check this out. If you look over the side from the Vibe Beach Club, you can take a look at Deck 8 and see the infinity pools from up here. So let's head on over and take a look at a couple of fun family areas. Let's take a look at the stadium. Here you're going to find all different kinds of interactive games to play. There's paddle tennis, there's ping pong. You can also play beer pong here if you bring your own beer. You can play foosball. But one of the funnest activities is right over here. There are a couple of dry slides which drops you right over the side of the ship. If we head directly on the other side, we're going to go right through the mini golf and over to the drop dry slide. So it's a dry slide, so you just jump in that sleeve and it shoots you right on down the deck eight. It's probably one of the most fun things to do over here on this side. Another fun thing to do over here is to play mini golf. It's an interactive game. There's a lot of different lights and things to do over here. There's also a dart board if you like to play darts. Let's head on down to deck 17 and take a look at the Galaxy Pavilion. The Galaxy Pavilion is literally a virtual reality playground. Most of the activities require virtual reality goggles. Some are competitive, so you'll race against other people. A little competition is always fun. And some you're going to do by yourself. There is also a roller coaster or a virtual roller coaster if you like those. The key is just to go from place to place and try each one out. Take a look at this. All the way in the back here is an escape room. Those are becoming popular all over and you can find one here on the Norwegian Primo. Let's take a look at the observation lounge. The observation lounge is one of my favorite places. It goes all the way around the front of the ship and has panoramic views. Anytime that you want to come in here and relax, grab a drink, maybe sit down, you're going to enjoy yourself because there is always something to look out at. When we were in Alaska, we were in the observation lounge, we saw whales. That was on the Norwegian Joy. The Norwegian Joy also has an observation lounge. Most of the breakaway class ships have observation lounges. There's a pretty cool bar over here with bar stools if you just want to sit at the bar, grab a drink, check out the views. You can also come into the lounge for a breakfast. They'll have croissants and juice. There's a coffee station. Let's head on down to deck 16 and take a look at the spa and the thermal suites. There is a beauty salon and a barber shop when you first walk in. One of my favorite places here in the spa are the thermal suites. There is an additional charge to get into thermal suites, but it is worth it. There are a couple of pools with nice waterfalls going on the side of the walls here. There is a cold room. There's an infrared sauna. There is a salt room. There is also a charcoal sauna. One of my favorite places here is the Finnish sauna and the aromatic steam room. The aromatic steam room is a perfect place to come on in and relax and just get rid of all those toxins. This is the Pulse Fitness Center. This is where you're going to work out while you're on your cruise. There are stairmasters, treadmills, machines. There are free weights. They also offer classes. There are yoga classes, spin classes. If you're interested in taking one of the classes, make sure you come on in and inquire the first day of the cruise. Let's take a look at the Haven area. This area is exclusive to guests who have booked into Haven Suites. Check it out. There are plenty of couches and nice comfortable places to relax. For example, you have your own concierge, which will book dining, entertainment reservations, and shore excursions for you. You have priority embarkation and debarkation. You can do in-suite dining. And check this out. You have your own elevator. Right before we go out to the outside area, take a look at this little workstation. Right here in the outside area, the first place we're going to come across is the bar. The pool area is full of comfortable cabanas and padded chairs. You'll notice that there are plenty of umbrellas if you'd like a little bit of shade. One of my favorite spots here in the Haven is all the way in the back, the Infinity Pool. There are nice loungers which have 
perfect views of the back here. Again, we're still here in Amsterdam. So while we're coming into Amsterdam, it was really neat. We went through the locks and the ship was raised up so we could come on in. Take a look at this. Right in front of the infinity pool are thermal suites. There is a sauna right over here. And then right next to the sauna, take a look at this, there is a cold room. So you can go back and forth from the sauna to the cold room. A deck up above the infinity pool, there is a sun deck right here. There are two hot tubs and more padded chairs. Right here is the Haven restaurant. Another perk of booking in the Haven is the Haven restaurant. It is also exclusive for guests who are booked in Haven suites. It's open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Now remember, Keep in mind that if you do not want to dine in the Haven restaurant and you want to make dinner reservations, the concierge will do it for you. You get priority reservations. Let's head on down to the lower decks. This is deck eight. This is the theater. You get to the theater from deck seven or deck eight. This theater is really neat. All the seats here close up and at nighttime it can turn into a nightclub. During the day, they also sometimes put the seat back if they're gonna do some type of special presentation and everyone's gonna come up front, the stage can come out. It can do a lot of different interactive things. Let me give you a quick overview of deck eight. Right here is the whiskey bar. We're gonna go right through the stores here. Right here is the photo gallery. Straight ahead is the local bar and grill. On the other side is the grill over here in the bar. And then all the way here at the end is the Indulge Yourself Food Hall. So let's head on back to the beginning of Deck 8 and take a look at the whiskey bar. So you'll notice that in this area there are three decks. It's 6, 7, and 8. This is the atrium. This is kind of like a meeting point where you can get to each of the decks very easily. Up here on Deck 8 is the whiskey bar. The whiskey bar is the best spot to meet up at night. There are stairs here that go from deck seven to deck eight. Right behind the whiskey bar is Ondavai Scarpetta. This is the Italian restaurant. It offers a wide range of Italian specialties. The pizza is a big favorite. It's a perfect appetizer to share. You can also eat outside here on the deck if you like. Let's go ahead and go through the rest of deck eight. So when you first walk from the front toward the back, you're gonna go through all the stores. And then after you go through the stores, you're gonna go right through the photo gallery. This is where you're gonna find the pictures that the photographers take of you while you are on board the ship. Now, if we keep going straight, we're gonna go right through the local bar and grill. The local bar and grill is an excellent spot when you just wanna come in and have a drink. You can also enjoy sporting events here. They'll have games on the TVs here. There are also really cool places to sit outside of the bar. There are sofas and nice chairs. You can also enjoy music throughout the cruise. Normally during the sea days, they're always gonna have bands. And of course, at night when you get back from port. On the other side is the restaurant. The restaurant is open late at night, so if everything else is closed, come on into the local grill and grab a hamburger, wings, hot dog. You can even sit out here on the deck if you like. Right across from the local is Los Lobos. Los Lobos is part of the specialty dining. This is the Mexican restaurant. Keep in mind, folks, that when we talk about specialty dining, specialty is just an option. There are plenty of complimentary options available on the ship. Specialty is just there to give you an extra option. Let's take a look at Indulge Yourself Food Hall. This is all the way here in the back on deck eight. It's made up of 11 different restaurants. There are so many different types of cuisine that it's almost hard to make a choice. It's really easy to order. You just walk up to an iPad, place your order, and then the server is gonna bring it to your table. It's amazing. So you don't actually walk up to any of the venues here unless there's a counter to order. And even if there is a counter, you're still gonna use the iPad. One of my favorites was the Texas barbecue and Coco's. I really enjoyed the desserts. The cool thing is, is that while you're on the iPad, you can order from different places. You don't have to order the same thing from the same place. So for example, you can get a tapa from the Latin Quarter. You can get some barbecue from the Texas Smokehouse. And then of course, remember, you can come in for breakfast and lunch. All the way here in the back is the Luna Bar. If you wanna just relax back here, sit down at the bar and have a drink, that's fine. But remember, you can also order drinks on that iPad and they'll bring it to your table. Let's take a look at Ocean Boulevard. Take a look at this, Deck 8. 
So you can come out here and go for a nice stroll or just hang out. Let me give you a quick overview. So here is Honda by Scarpetta, where you can dine outside. Right here is one of the dry slides. It comes all the way down here to deck eight. Right there are the infinity pools. And all the way in the back here is where you eat and dine in the Indulge Yourself Food Hall. And there's also a bar out here. So let's talk about some of my favorite places here on deck eight. Number one are the infinity pools. Check this out. There is not just one infinity pool, but there are two. There is an infinity pool on either side of deck eight. Cause remember deck eight goes all the way around. Look up right here. You can see the balcony cabins. You can also see where the slide comes all the way down to deck eight. Now check this out. All the way in the back here is a bar. This is hands down my favorite bar. It's all the way here at the back of the ship. It has perfect views of wherever you are. Right there is Ireland. It's just an excellent spot to sip on a nice cool drink. Now throughout deck eight, keep in mind that there are just all kinds of different places to sit and relax. There's comfortable chairs, there's couches, there's lounge chairs for two. So there's something for everybody. So why don't we head on down to deck seven and take a quick tour. So if we go right by here, this is guest services. We're gonna go right to the atrium here. We're gonna go through a whole new different set of stores. Right here is Sid Norman's and the Improv. Right toward the back here is the Metropolitan. Then straight back here is the sushi bar and the Japanese steakhouse. And then all the way here in the back is one of the complimentary dining venues. It's one of my favorites. So let's go ahead and start back on deck seven in the beginning. So right here in the front is the shore excursions desk. Then you go right into Starbucks. So at nighttime, check this out. The whiskey bar is a perfect spot to meet up before dinner and grab a drink. During the day, before you go on an excursion or before you go to lunch, Starbucks is my favorite place to meet up. You can grab a coffee. There's plenty of comfortable seating. There's panoramic views over here in the back. Over to the left of the panoramic views is the connect if you need to get on the Wi-Fi. Keep in mind that Starbucks is right here in the Penrose atrium. Right down the way here from Starbucks is guest services. If you have any questions, just stop on by. They'll help you out. Over here down the way is Sid Norman. This is the rock and roll bar. Here you can enjoy tribute bands at night, but during the day and during normal times, it's just a really cool spot to come in and have a drink. There's really cool couches. There's a stage right here. They'll also do karaoke uh, during the cruise. So there's other activities that take place here as well. And then across the hall is the improv. This is where you'll watch all the comedy shows. Remember, when you think of the Prima, think of smaller, cozy venues. Right here is the Umidor. This is where you can come in and enjoy a cigar. You can bring your own on board or you can buy them right here. Now, if you go right outside the Umidor here, we're gonna go right into the Metropolitan Bar. The Metropolitan Bar has a wide variety of craft beers. It's a nice, quiet spot to have a drink. And they also have many different types of specialty cocktails. Over here is Le Bistro. This is the French restaurant. This is also part of the specialty dining. Norwegian has excellent promotions. So a lot of times when you purchase your cruise, you may have a dining package included, which allows specialty. So check this out. When you give us a call, ask us about it. Over here is the sushi restaurant. You can either sit up here at the sushi bar or there's plenty of tables and chairs for you to sit down and relax. The sushi is a la carte. Some of the specialty dining plans do include the sushi restaurant. Over here is the Japanese steakhouse. This is where the chefs cook the food right in front of you. You can come in with a big grill Group, or if you're with a couple of people, they will sit you down with other groups so you can all enjoy it together. All the way here in the back is Hudson's. This is part of the complimentary dining. Hudson's is open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. The cool thing about Norwegian is it is part of freestyle dining, so you can come in whenever they're open. Okay, let's head on down to deck six. Let me give you a quick overview of deck six. We're gonna go right by the Penrose Bar through the casino. Check this out, all the way on the other side of the casino is the Belvedere Bar, where we'll also find the Commodore and Cagney Station. So let's head on back to the beginning of deck six. Right here is the Penrose Atrium. Remember, this is where 
Dex 6, 7, and 8 Converge. The Penrose Bar is a really cool spot to come in later on at night. You can hear live music and there will also be a lot of people just here hanging out ready to get their night started. Over here is the casino. You can play roulette. You can also play craps. There are tournaments. You can get into uh, roulette tournaments, blackjack tournaments, and also Texas Hold'em tournaments. There is also a spot over here for high rollers, but this is over by the Penrose Bar away from the main casino. All the way here in the back is the Belvedere Bar. This is another relaxing spot that I would like to equate to the Metropolitan Bar. It's more quiet and you'll notice that this does go with what I said before that a lot of the venues are more private and smaller. All the way back here by the Belvedere Bar, you're also gonna find a couple of dining venues. The Commodore Room, which is part of the complimentary dining, and yes, it's also part of the freestyle dining. So you can come in here whenever you want, when it's open, so it's only open for dinner. Remember, if you wanna go for breakfast and lunch in the main dining room, you'll have to go up to Huston's. Right here is Cagney Steakhouse. Cagney Steakhouse is where you can order a prime cut of meat. It is part of the specialty dining, but remember if you have one of those dining packages included in your cruise fare, you're gonna be able to use this as one of your options. Hey folks, my name is Jason. Thank you for joining me on the tour. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to get the best rate guaranteed, which is what we offer. Give me a call. My number's right there on the screen. Have a wonderful day.